Hey folks, welcome to Tech Lab. Thanks for joining us. We're glad you're here once again. I'm Tech and we're joined once again by Mozo Tice and Patu. We are on our part two of the Ice Storm Expedition mission, just showing you here again. So we continued on, we made some progress and we are in the middle of it and going to continue on with the uh, push of the mission really trying to accomplish the tasks, but we had a little bit of excitement. There was a storm, there were some fires, it got a little bit crazy, but uh, we needed to level ourselves up to level 15. And so that took a little bit of time. We did some of that off camera. We had a bear fight. I just thought I would show you that here. Mozo Tice also has a great uh, version of his uh, episode two that I highly recommend checking out. It's in the link below. He has montages of some of the leveling up and the hunting that we did. He talks a little bit more about some of the decisions and things that we made, but this is a highlight as well. A little bit of a different perspective on the edit, but. It is a fun series to be able to be doing together with these uh, good people, and we're so glad that you're able to join us. So, without further ado, I'm excited to jump right back into the mission. And it's a new morning. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. So, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back. We've just woken up, and, um, well, Today, uh, hopefully I've put some kind of a montage together to show you how I managed to get to level 11, uh, but it's still not good enough. Uh, we need to be level 15. You know, I think I didn't see where he went, uh, but Dave is there, the hair of 15. So what you're going to do is get to level 15 and then, uh, oh, single shot kill. Okay. And that did it. Now I'm level 15. Cool. Nice. So now we can make some kind of armor. Yeah, we're kind of looking at what we have, and now you can see in mine I have the text the tech tree. We were looking at some of the fur, which of course would be better for the winter, but now I just unlocked the leather armor. So I've got uh, five different pieces of armor, um, and I think the cold protection, as you can see here, it still has basically half of what the fur armor would be. So we're getting half of the protection that we would want uh, anyways. And I think, honestly, we'll be able to do a pretty good job if we bring some fires with ourselves. I think it's very doable. So, yeah, so now that we have a bunch of leather too, let's go see if I can't craft some of this mm. armor here. And there we are. So there's three sets of armor in there. Okay. No, no, there's only two sets of armor in there. Ah, Bontu's ready to go. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and we did get right. the backpacks as well. Um, so that's a new thing uh, that we did while we had our day off. So now we have backpacks and we just did armor. I'm feeling good. What do you think? Do we want to venture out? I think we should go for it. Because I, I have a feeling it's going to take us longer than we think. You know? <laughs> I would agree. Yep, I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Okay, after you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, there's our first bear. Okay, so we really want to probably not try to deal with them if we can. That bear on our left what? is not ideal because he... You do benefit, like if they're facing away from you, they don't see you. Um... It will delay us though, won't it? So... Yeah, and fighting them, they take a lot of arrows. So, I mean, we could do yeah. it, but it's just... And you can see now in the bottom left, we already have that little snow debuff. So yes. we are experiencing cold. You can see the whole temperature gauge in the bottom left. If, yes. if we remain within that cold for too long, we will get frostbite. So that's just a next level of debuff. Lovely. Um, while there's no storm going on, we can always just light a fire. Yeah, but when a storm comes, even if it's a snowstorm, it still puts the fire out, presumably. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowstorm, you, even if you're standing on top of the fire, on fire, you won't be hot enough. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Super. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I do remember from the map we do have quite a long way to to trek. Yeah. Yep, I'm picking up snow as we go. Oh, right, okay. Ah, I see. Just point at the thing. So there's no point in me picking it up as well, is there? I don't think we'll have uh, I mean, we can do multiple fires, but, you know, if you have a dozen or so, that's more than enough. Yeah. I got, like, 60. And I do think we probably want to consider stopping um, and warming up at a fire, even if just briefly. Let's just do it here, just because we're just here. And there's no okay. storm, so I'm just going to place it uh, over here. And it's not going to be long. All we want to do is have that little snow indicator disappear. There you go. Hey, put a, throw a bladder on there for me, would you? Yeah, sure. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't get a drink before we left the base. There you go. So if you stand by him, now you see our flame went away. It's it's kind of like the cave. You just don't want it to stick there for too long, or just like a cut or a wound that then becomes affected. Yeah. If you have snow, it, it becomes could. frostbite. So. It's worse, yeah. Okay. yeah. Have, we, have we paid attention to the forecast here? Uh, is that I've been watching it. I see the now? yellow, so we, we might be hitting a moderate level storm. It's supposed to be about a three minute storm within that several hour window, so it's hard to tell. I'm still learning how the system works, but we probably should keep moving so we don't catch another storm. So, Pato, you want to grab this water? Yep. And then I'm just going to grab everything here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so okay. take the cooking out, take the raw meat out, take the food out, and pick up the fire. Yeah. Oh yeah, and watch out for these. Yeah, these are little crevasses. You can fall in them. Oh, right. Normally at the end, like you're looking at, that's where you could run out at the end of it. Right. Um, there's also another thing, if you hit escape, there's a button in the bottom right called unstuck. So if you're really stuck right. somewhere, you can just hit unstuck and it will respawn you somewhere nearby. Um, got you. Right. Yep, this sure looks gold. Yep, we're doing it. And if you drink water, just like in real life, it'll cool down your body a little bit. So when you're in the right. snow, like when you eventually have a suit that can hold the water, you want to take that water out. And you know, when you take a swig of water, it's usually good to do it while you're standing by a fire versus just drinking water while you're already cold. Need chicken soup. That's I know. What you need. <laughs> so Mozo, you may want to also eat uh, a prime meat or something. I see that you've got two buffs. Uh, let's stick to the right. I see a bear. Prime meat. Okay. Uh, like uh, the stringy cooked. or the cooked, either of those stringy. two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we can do that. There All you right. go. Now you've got nice big health bump because of that. Yeah, and I'm cold. Now one other, yeah, right. One other thing I will say um, is, and I know we're not doing it right now, but spreading out in the winter biome can be helpful because, you know, you may be able to help each other out with a bear a bit, um, mm -hmm. but if you're far enough away, if, if one person does end up dying to the bear. Oh, we need to go to the left. Yeah, probably down in this valley here. If one person does end up dying to it, at least that bear doesn't see the other person right nearby. So they'll maybe right. wander off. Right. Versus if you're kind of all huddled oh, together, it's just gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I saw <in>. that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Is that a mammoth? Oh crap! There's a mammoth! Oh my god! What? There's yeah, a mammoth. The ma mammoth. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh! I forgot they brought them back into these worlds. They did. Oh boy. Okay. Um, okay, so we've we've got what have we got? Uh, green yeah. marker, uh, and I think it's going to be another uh, little box unit. Yeah, uh, box. I can't remember if it's up on the ridge or if it's down in the middle. I'm betting it's up on the hill. Mm -hmm. Polar bear on the right. I'm going to go around that way. And he's headed right to you. Okay. 
Oh, I see him. Yep, right. he's definitely seeing us, Mozo. He's on your right, right over your shoulder. Yeah, I did yeah. see him. I, yeah, I'm you're good. Keep wondering. going up the rocks, and I think you're okay. <clears throat> like, who needs stamina, you know? Yeah, stamina's for wussies. Yeah, here it is on the top here. There you go. I don't know why you guys took the long way. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's uh, some big muscular bear okay. here that I would rather not deal with. I went right up yeah. the rock. It's okay, you Dave. Go. You you can you, you deal with it. Right. We'll, um, yeah. we'll carry on to the, the next one. All right. So you guys, <laughs> did you already pick it up? Yep. We've got it. Yeah. So blue is the next one. Yeah. I think that's probably a good idea. Just go and grab this one. Go. Now we have to assemble it. The bad thing is, I'm pretty sure we have to assemble it in the a crafting bench. For, apparently, it's uh, some kind of sonic device. Releases a burst of impersonic sound. Did anybody but grab the other piece the storm cell. Break it up. from the? West. Settle the weather patterns up here. I'll believe it when I see it. The the other piece that was in the crate at the base. No. Crap. I've got all three. Yeah, I've got all three on me. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, I've been keeping the, keeping them as I go. Oh, good. Um, pretty sure we have to have the crafting bench, so we're gonna have to go in the cave. Just uh, yeah. Okay. Can we make one? Right. Uh, uh not without bench. leather and stone. Fiber. I've got uh, leather. Got... Do you have fiber? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is the crafting bench? And... That's um tier one. Uh, you just went over or it no. next to the hammer. First, first one in tier two. Yeah, there you are. Just above you. One more up. Ah, okay. Oh, he can yeah. craft oh, it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, might as well just make one. Okay, yeah. I'm going to move this fire into the cave then. I agree. Right, Let's gonna... go do that. I'm going into cave right now. Okay. Crafting. Yeah. Um, okay, to your left. Was, uh, right there. That one? Acoustic yep. cavitation oh, cannon. Okay, yep. so you didn't even need a bench. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yep. Great. Yeah, that. Okay. Okay, it's ready. But something like that needs Under shelter. shelter. Okay. Or the storm's yeah. gonna tear it apart. Well, that's not a problem. Geniuses yeah. uh, at the group reckon walls won't stop at working, so you better build some. Okay. All right, you want to go start it? Mozo, do you want to pick up the uh, cavitation yep. cannon? <laughs> then... uh, yeah. Fatu, yeah. Push the uh... cavitation cannon. <laughs> Should we make the base? Let's do it. So in the snow, a flat roof is something you'd want to avoid because of the snow. Um, eventually, you can actually get a shovel even in this, but we don't really normally do that. But if you just make this little triangular roof instead. Okay. Hang on. I'm just... Uh... Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? I'm swapping the wood for the coal. That and ditch Did that. Make a door. And that um, because I was over encumbered with the coal, so. Yeah, I got the door. You got a door? Okay. There we go. Alright. Perfect. And then, as you can. Um, let's go ahead there. and yeah, set it up. There you yeah. go. You want to set that guy up in here? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Trying to give you some room. There you go. All right, and we'll see uh, some uh, if it, if we see uh, some damage or something, some cracks forming above. We can always just take down the roof and rebuild it. So, like for example, you see how there's snow. It's really easy. I just push Y, and then I immediately rebuild it. Right. And that just gets all the snow off of it. Okay, so we're getting pretty cold, stood here. Yeah, your fire's we don't... gone out, oh, so that's why. You can either move yeah. the fire in there, or we could just go in the cave and let it run. Yeah, I 
kind of forgot about that. I thought I was being clever. Yeah, I thought it was going to work too. I mean, the snow doesn't always make it seem like it would put it out, but it does. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, we just skipped that little bit, just uh, sitting around waiting. It's not much fun for you to watch, so uh, you can see we're just about to complete. 99. There we go. 100. And suddenly something's taking a lot of damage. Damage. We're getting is it damage? Readings. Wow. What is that thing doing? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. It just it's... blew the it just blew the base part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't need the base anyway. Oops. So I can pick it back up again. Yeah, look at our three day forecast now. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm pretty over encumbered. I'm not quite. I, I've got a lot. And I also heard a very bad noise. Yeah, it's no longer alive. Mushroom root. Uh, that we don't need. So, I'll put the oxide in there because I don't need it and I don't know what it does if you put oxide in a fire, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <clears throat> Somebody's uh, repair hammer broke. I heard it. Uh, yeah. Oh, do you want the workbench? Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, we won't need it. I will need a piece all of right, wood, though. Do. But should we sleep? And then uh, I think we can make our way back now that we have the mission done. Return to dropship. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, sounds like a plan. Yep, sleep. Um, you, you can have the bed at the back because uh, that's where the worms spawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. There we go. I'll take this fire. Take okay. Um, I'll take the bed. Yeah, I'm actually not too bad. I'm 97 of 110, so I can take a little bit more if need be. Okay. I can take the fire, it's okay. Yeah, I'm a little over encumbered right now, but... And I need to remind you that I have pneumonia, which means... That, uh, not very well. You're gonna have to carry me. Sorry about that. Right. Yeah, that's alright. I think we'll be moving a little slow. I've got a whole lot of coal that I probably don't need. Yeah, I just, I just dropped off half of mine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to mark my drop pod. Um, okay, we good? Okay, I think we shall. Yep, time to run out of here and hope not to yeah. die. Um, I've just done it already. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't last long, did <laughs> Yeah. All right, we tend to go slower in the snow anyways, trying to watch out for the bears. Especially, that's pretty nice. We know there's no storm coming. Yeah. yeah. There's only lots of bears, though, still. And mammoths. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're aggressive. I don't. The last one we encountered, they were all aggressive, so... No. <laughs> But that was usually when they were put there specifically in a mission as a boss. Now it seems like yeah. they're just wandering. Yep. Yep, just roaming around. It would be like the buffalo where if you shoot them, they get upset. But other than I that, don't know. Mozo, go run up and pet that one. Tell us if it's <laughs> accurate. Sure. <laughs> I, think, I think it's interesting, the structure of the game, how they sort of, I mean, we're on a totally different planet in a different solar system somewhere. But the way I've seen it explained, I forget if, if some of those blurbs told us about it, but is that they basically brought the genetics here to kind of pre-terraform this planet before we got here. All right. So that, kind of, I mean, that's why we're seeing deer and all these creatures that we're used to yeah. seeing on a foreign and, planet. And they can breathe the air and not get sick. Yeah, they kind of adapted to the weird weather of this place. My stamina bar is so small, it's ridiculous. Oh, I know. Yeah. 
Another trick with pneumonia, if you don't want to have to leave a cave or if you're worried about, you know, weather or something outside, is when you get inside of a bed, that's the same thing. If you want to sit in your bed for 20 or 30 seconds, that will reset the clock on your cave timer. So for all the viewers out oh. there, you know, you can either leave the cave for 20 or 30 seconds uh, or get in a yeah. bed. It's it's kind of unknown how long it takes until you get pneumonia, so you're sort of rolling the dice, but I would say usually anywhere from three to five minutes, maybe. So if you're popping out every two or three minutes, there's a good chance well, that you'll be able to prevent uh, it. Apparently magic has fixed it. I've no longer got pneumonia. There you so. go. Yeah, you're, you're, that's good. Your timer ran out. Yep. Yep. 600 second timer. Okay, it's just eating a berry. And Mozo, I see you've got two of your three food buffs. You could always eat like a regular uh, cooked meat or something if you wanted. One's just run out, actually. I, uh, I was just checking that. I did have three, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you get running. that little gong now. Like I said, I kind of don't really even think about eating until I hear that gong. I'm gonna have to check what that is because I don't get that. Oh really? At least nothing that I recognize as being a beep or a gong. Yeah, I noticed it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what it sounds like. It's on mine. It's not. It's not a gong. It's yeah, it, kind of uh, like it's a light one. But it's like huh, kind of this. Yeah, kind, yeah. yeah. Nothing that I've noticed. That's for sure. Well, the thing about it is, you wouldn't notice it until you put basically two and two together. Because it, you know, whenever we first started playing, I was like, "What is that?" Yeah, and then then it finally dawned on me what it was. Yeah, it took me about a month. I kept hearing. I was like, "What is that noise that randomly happens?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, that stammer again. I'm really bad at watching that bar. I'm actually amazed that you're keeping up with us as much as you are, though. With, I mean, pneumonia is not easy to run with, so well done. Well, yeah, I mean, it was just a, a short spurt and then a walk and then a spurt and then a walk. So, I mean, it's the same thing as you do when you haven't got it. It's just your stamina bar is much shorter, so. Yeah. So it's gone now anyway, fortunately, so I'm back to, back to normal, back to fighting fit. Well, go pet, go pet that polar bear. Oh, there's a, a buffalo, a baby um, buffalo wandered its way. It thinks its mom is the polar bear. Yeah. I've never seen that. I would probably try it with a mammoth, but I'm pretty sure the bear isn't going to be, um, <laughs> you know, the 50-50 on the mammoth, but it's 99 to 1 on the bear, so. Right. Uh, I feel like, like but, but, you know, we you you really need this for video. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? I'm like, okay, we're getting I've, close. I've already got slaughtered by a bear on the... Um, I forget which episode it was, but on my subsistence 24 days a year. Uh, yeah. I, I was so used to um, running up steps so that a wolf would break off. And I, I got aggroed by a bear and I ran up my steps and I forgot to go through the door thinking that'll be aggro. And of course, a bear doesn't. Don't run him over here. <laughs> you saw what I was doing. Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you may want to watch this. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, he's flinging arrows. Yeah. Oh crap, I thought he was getting at me. No, no, I think he was just stumbling. I'm good at hitting him in the bum, I just don't seem to be able to hit him in the head. He stayed triggered on me only. And it is easier when you're the attacker because you get a lot more. Look at all these arrows. <laughs> Looks like... Wow. Hey, can I have some arrows back? <laughs> right? that, that's not a that's not a polar bear. That's a porcupine. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, and that's why my arrows. You, you've seen us with a bear, but a polar bear just takes so many more. 
Oh. All the ones in his ass will be mine. And, <laughs> yeah. all... and if you get a little bit slower, then, you know, yeah, somebody harvest him. But, yeah, if you get slow from the cold, tell. you can see how all of a sudden you can get yourself into trouble trying to do that over and over and over again yeah. when you can barely run. So, it's better to just run around him, but I figured with two of you and we were close enough to the warm biome and our base, it'd be fun to try. <laughs> Well, I don't know how many arrows that was, but it was a lot. It absolutely was, yeah. Polar bears are not to be messed with. Nope, definitely not being uh, inexperienced with them. You get good at shooting brown bear, then you could take on polar bears. Yeah. And still, we'll lose. Right, so all of this, um, this is for naught, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yep, it is now. We, we won't be coming back here again. Mm hmm. It just seems strange to me that you'd go to all this trouble setting up infrastructure and, you know, all the rest of it, and then just leave it all behind. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is always kind of funny the way it ends up working but like that. I got I to gotta tell you, I think that's probably one of the things that kept bringing Dave and I back is we did have the challenge of having to make. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> of having to make all this stuff. Um, right. Well, uh, I don't think we really needed to burn the base down. <laughs> well, he didn't want the polar bears to move in. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's true. Yeah. Don't make it too easy on them. <laughs> did it go? Out? Oh no! I was gonna say, did it go out? No, no. <laughs> I don't think it is. Burning. But so how did how did you manage to do that? You uh, I the held a torch oh. and I just dropped it while it was lit. Oh, okay. yeah. So that's the funny thing about this game is it may drop our frame rate, but in the end of the day, we don't need any of this anymore. It's a, kind yeah. of a strange thing for those used to survival games, but you get kind of used to it. Like you build up a base. I mean, you may even be up to tier four with all kinds of electronics and lights, and then you know eventually you sort of it met its purpose and. You get to move on to the next. I can't get this to light, what the heck. No. Yeah, just, if you lead in front of their nose, usually that's a good way to kind of help get the uh, kill cam to work out. Okay, so uh, we're in danger of losing the sun, aren't we? We are. Yeah, um, might as well make we our should, way at this uh, point. We should leave the forest to burn on this planet, as we no longer need this planet. We'll just let it burn the forest down. Yep. Yep. Yep, it resets all the trees and everything when you come back. So, <laughs> that's that. I think we did a good job. You know, like I said, you can kind of see how you need to build up a little bit of a base. You kind of get your foundation, uh, cook a good amount of meat if you think you might need it. And, yeah. um, you know, we got our armor. We did a lot of things, I think, to sort of show how to build up a base. And I think, you know, now that we're level 10, level 15 even, there's even more crafting and more things that you do to make your base, you know, bigger and more built out. And so the, mm. the more you get into the missions, the more you sort of get used to that building up a nice nice home base for yourself and then and then progressing out on the mission and you and you get faster because you start learning of what things you need to grab yeah. first yeah but this area chuck all this stuff out. we were talking about it i mean i know it's sort of uh we had to wait until level 15 but i still feel that this mission here is a great one to do early on because that valley that we were just in where that first one is oh there's a bear now that's spawned behind us um, there's a lot of animals that spawned, just like you saw, and it's mm. a, so it becomes a really good area to learn how to use your bow, to learn how to hunt. Um, you can learn a lot in there, and you know, you we could have stayed there as long as we wanted. We could have leveled to level 20 if we really wanted. So you kind of have that choice in this game. You can either keep progressing through the missions if you really want, or you can, you know, take any one of the missions and just use it as an opportunity to learn a little more and stay in there a little longer. Well, I think the main, it seems to me the main reason for doing the missions would be to get Ren, so mm -hmm. that you could buy things that would help you in your 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 main game. So you, you might have, like, a main game, um, like which is just a continuous, I'm yeah. playing this game kind of thing. Or your but next then, missions. 
Yeah, but then, okay, I could benefit from an iron pickaxe or a, you know, whatever, better something. Um, I think this is mine. I'm sure I remember. Yeah, this is mine. That's so weird, because yeah, so, um, on my map, oh, I guess mine's the green one, not the blue one. Yeah, yeah we changed. swapped over, because yeah. I came in before you. Uh, yep. I think it's kind of okay. Yeah, you were across the lake. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. It's it, there is that balance between you stay in here, but we are using wood tools and you know stone tools, and it is nice to start to then have those things uh, with the suit. I will say, you know, we now are getting to the point where we have enough rent, so the suits are really nice because they can hold your water. Eventually, they can even hold a little stack of food for you, so you can automatically just make sure you don't go hungry. So there's a few things that are worth getting that rent for. Mm. And we just earned, I think, what, 125 from this mission? I think so. Yep, I believe. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. So, find something to spend that on, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think I found my pod here. Okie dokie. You guys, yeah, okay. Yep, one met my pod. Right. Well, thank you very much, both. Um, I don't think I need to. Well, let's see. Can I? Yeah, I can shift click that into the cargo, but. Doesn't make any difference, I don't think. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for joining us. If you've stuck with us through this kind of mega episode, really, two two parts, two episodes, uh, just to get the mission done, and hopefully shown you that whilst a lot of people say you need fur armor and that's level 20, we've just done it in leather armor, which is level 15, so it's definitely possible. Uh, so yeah, great. Thank you very much. I'm going to jump back in my pod and go back home to my nice, warm, centrally heated spaceship um, and sit there playing cards, chess, something, until next week, when we hope you'll join us again. So, yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Thank yeah, you. Take, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And away we go.